Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of their business and their organization. This one we're looking at is a BPMN 2.0 template in PowerPoint. So you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars to get a software that will create BPMN charts for you. You can actually create a lot of this in PowerPoint and uh, in doing so you might get a chart that looks like this with your various gateways and timing events for example and the different people involved. But uh, all of these uh, icons are easily creatable in PowerPoint. And so what we're going to do is figure out and go through today how to create the swim lanes, the different events, the gateways, all of the activities with their different, uh, different variations like user tasks, manual tasks, sending tasks, service tasks, for example, and then all the different events that we can create. For example, we might have a message event and we might want to uh, turn that, uh, create, to add that to our intermediate, uh, intermediate event here. And if we just send that to the back. And by combining those things very easily, we now have our message intermediate event. And that's, a, that's what we can do, an easy way to create these icons for you when you're using BPMN2 in your PowerPoint presentation as well. This is going to be a whole bunch of fun, so let's get into it and let's figure out how to make these things so you can put them to use in your own PowerPoint presentation. What we're going to do is just start with our blank template here and, uh, and that way we can simply fill in the icons using the tools from PowerPoint as we go along. And we're going to start from the left on our participants all the way through our gateways, activities, events, and then connectors. And the first thing we're going to do is start with our pool and our swim lanes. So that we actually use by inserting a table. Very, very simple. And uh, we just want one or two, we just, let's just make it one at the moment. We want to, uh, we don't want banded rows and we don't want the header row. And what we actually want is to just have a, a bit of a blank template really to work with. And that way we can give ourselves the right borders and just give ourselves all the right borders for this particular one. Move this over a little bit. Increase the size. And now we can say this is our lane name. So this is gonna be the lane that we're working with. And of course we want to format this shape because we want the text to just be uh, the text direction to be rotate all this way. And we'll put that in the center. And now that's looking like our lane. But we also want the pool name. And to do that, we're just going to use a normal rectangle. So shapes, and this is our rectangle shape here. And this one, again, we don't want any of the, uh, any of the we want the outline to be just black. And we can have a normal white background for this one. And again, we will edit the text and say this is our pool name. If we select all of that, turn the text black, go to our text options and get rid of any of the extra margins. And we want that text to rotate all 270 degrees as well and just make that a little bit smaller. Now we've got our pool and our swim lane to start with. Now we might want to group things as well. So what we're going to do is insert another shape and it's just a rounded rectangle. This is gonna be our rounded rectangle. We will get, we'll make the fill white and the outline black as well. We'll edit the text. And the outline for this one, we're going to just give this uh, the dashes, uh, dots and dashes together. And that's how we group things together on our BPMN chart. Now we also might want to do text annotation as we go along. And to do that, we're just going to add in a bracket. Very, very simple. Uh, that's a beautiful, nice bracket there. And if we just uh, change the outline to be something that, we, that suits us, maybe increase the weight a little bit, We'll edit the text and this is our text annotation. Now what we want to do with this one, we want to just uncheck wrap text in shape and we'll put that to the left and that's looking a little bit better. We'll reduce the margins, but that way it's not going to wrap around and that's what we want. Now we also want to just add a, add a line to that and as you can see it's able to connect to that directly and we'll change the outline of that. If we select all of those, we can group those together as well. And now we, have a, now we have our text annotation that we can put anywhere on our BPMN chart as well. We've got a couple of things, data object and data store. For our data store, we'll select a normal square. And this is where we start to get a little bit fancy. We'll make the outline and the fill. Data object, sorry. And so if we select this now and if we edit the points, this is what we want here. So we're wanting to just add a point and bring this other point down. And now there's one other thing we need to do is insert uh, another shape. 
and we're just going to ins or we're going to insert a freeform shape here. Now, if we select here and here and here, now we've got this looking a little bit more like our data object, and you can tidy that up a little bit if you want to. And we're going to do the same for our data store. So we're just going to add a uh, cylinder. but we're wanting to add in a little bit of extra to our data store. And to do that, we're going to add in a curved shape. So let's have a look here. What we want is to just click every time we want it to curve ever so slightly and press escape once we've done. If we just make that the right color, raise that up a little bit and control V and control C, uh, control C and control V. Now we can copy that and now we've added in the extra sections for our data store icon. For our labels, these are very simple shapes and these are our rectangles. And all we need to do is just uh, maybe give them a little gray border and uh, a nice white fill. And that's the participants section for our BPMN. Now we can move on to our gateways. With every gateway, it's going to start with a diamond shape but with each one, it's just gonna be a little bit different depending on what we put inside that diamond. So for our exclusive, and then once we've added the, the section to our, to our gateway, we simply go group and now it's one piece. And we can do the rest for all the rest of our gateways here as well. For exclusive event based, we're just going to add another shape. This regular pentagon. And now we've done all of our gateways as well. Now how we're getting through this very quickly. So this is a great way to do it. Nice and easy. And as you can see, easily creatable in PowerPoint. Now we're just going to do our activities and our events and connectors. Let's add some connectors in really quickly. And to do this, we add our shapes and we've got some connectors here already. We've got an elbow, uh, sort of a, these elbow style connectors. It creates a very nice one for us already, but we just need a little bit of a change. And to do that, we're going to format the shape and we're just going to increase it a little bit. That's our normal shape, but for a message, we just want that to be dashed and we want the begin arrow type to be just a little ball. Now that looks really good. And for the association connector, we don't need that ball at all. So it's just going to be the, the, dashed, uh, the dashed connector there. So now we've got our connectors set up nice and easily. Now we can jump into the activities. And the first activity to, to kick that one off is just a rounded rectangle. And now we can use that as a basis for all of our other tasks. So if we have our second one, this is going to be our sub process. But our sub process has a little bit of extra something to it and we need to just add a, uh, a normal square or a rectangle. And then we also want to add, which we've set up previously, uh, we just want to add in the plus sign here. And if we select all of those things together, right click, then we can group them together and now they'll work as one. We can copy this and paste this down and this is going to be our next one, which is our call activity. A call activity, we just want to add the outline and make that a lot thicker. And of course we will group those all together, make sure they're all grouped, which they are. And we'll just bring that down a little bit. And that's looking really good. Next one. And this one's an event sub process. But the difference here is we want the outline to be a little bit of a dash. And what we want is another one of these now we've got a lot of our activities all ready to go and they just need all these uh, little icons that we want to add to these, uh, to these activities as well. And this is where we're going to use a lot of our shapes and our free, form, uh, our free form shapes and also our curved shapes. So for this particular one, nice little uh, thing there. And of course we can edit these points anytime we want to and even add extra points just to make that look a little bit nicer. And once we do that, of course, we select it and we want to right click and just group them together so that they are grouped and they'll move as one.
just want the cap type to be round for that one. And uh, now we can add a few more of those in very easily. by editing the points and putting those together. Lastly, we've got the manual task, and this one's going to be a complete free form drawing. So we're just going to, oh, we're going to select the, the free form here, and what we want to draw is a hand. When you start with a large version of this, it is a lot easier, but you can also right click and edit the points uh, if you do need to edit these points, just to make sure that that looks nice and uh, nice for your chart. And now we've done all of the activities and all of the, the extra icons that we can add to those activities. So this is going really, really well. All we've got is the events left. You're doing great. Stick with it. For our non-interrupt, all we need to do is change them to a dashed line. Now we can start working with our other events. And there we have all of the participants, gateways, activities, events, and connectors free for us to create our very own and put these together. For example, if we want a manual task, we can, uh, can select that and we can put that on our sub-process activity. Maybe just decrease that a little bit. And if we put those two things together, then we can go down to our, uh, our BPMN chart very easily and copy and paste those in. So as you can see, a beautiful, beautiful way to create a BPMN process chart in PowerPoint. And you've got all of those things now, anytime you want, you can use them and you can create your own from scratch without having to spend huge amounts of money on BPMN processing software. I have really enjoyed spending this time with you creating these icons and creating the basis for BPMN in your PowerPoint chart. I really hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.